In this video, I'm going to show you the live streaming setup from your PC or Windows laptop connected to a V8 live sound card with the use of BM800 condenser microphone. I will also be showing you wherein the background music is coming from the laptop itself and also when it's coming from a different source other than a laptop. Without further ado, let's get started. And now let's do the connection. So first let's connect this uh, Beam 800 condenser microphone. So let's just uh, put it on this stand on here. Okay, and this uh, XLR cable to 3.5 mm, this normally comes when you buy this condenser uh, microphone. So let's connect one end here, and then let's connect uh, the other end to this uh, sound card. So as you can see, there is only one port here for a condenser microphone, which is that one. So let's connect one end there. And to monitor the audio, I will be using a headset. And I am going to connect this one to the one that says earphone. So this one has a built-in uh, microphone, but I'm going to connect it to the one that says earphone. I'll tell you why later. And uh, this one here, this is 3.5 mm to micro USB. I'm going to use this one to connect uh, the uh, background music from a different source other than this uh, laptop. So what I'll do, I'm going to connect one end to the one that says accompaniment. And then the other end I'll connect to this uh, iPad over here. Okay, so uh, just locate the headphone port of that device. So it could be another phone, it could be a tablet. Uh, just find or locate the uh, headphone port and that's where you connect the other end. And uh, lastly, this one, this is micro USB to USB type A. This normally comes when you buy this V8 uh, live sound card. So one end, the micro USB, you connect to the one that says charging. And the other end, you connect to the laptop. Just locate any uh, uh, USB type A port. Okay, this one is just on this side. Okay, now we're all set. Okay, and now that we're all set, let's now turn on this V8 live sound card. Just hold two to three seconds and it should turn on. I suggest the first thing you should do is go to your settings just to make sure it is set as uh, this V8 live sound card as your output and input. So go to settings, uh, just locate system and then sound. So normally if you just search over here, just type uh, from here, just type sounds and this uh, should be what it sh should show. Um, so system and then sound, and then just make sure the output over there is set to MV Silicon B1 USB audio, and this is, this is the name of that. And also, if you scroll down, so if you scroll down here, the input or your microphone, make sure it's set to this one also, which is MV Silicon B1 USB audio. So now that uh, it's set to, to like as your speaker and your microphone as this one, so we're you are now good. So we, we can now go out from here. Okay, so as you notice, this is what you should see when you open your uh, uh, Facebook account. And by the way, for streaming, we'll just use Facebook. Uh, as a sample for YouTube streaming setup should be the same. Okay, so for Facebook user, let's say this is what you wanna do. So of course, uh, this is what you will select, live video. Okay, so let's uh, open that now, live video. Okay, and uh, from here, so it's up to you, whatever you want to name your streaming. So it's an option here. Well, it's up to you what you want to put on those ones there. Okay, and um, of course, uh, from here, you just select use, uh, top the use camera. So you should see yourself also. Okay, there I am. And by the way, what I will be doing is once I'm done with this live streaming, I am going to sync the audio output from the live streaming so that I can share to you also the audio output I am hearing from this uh, earphone or headset. Okay, I'm just gonna put this on now to my ear. And uh, now I am ready to go live. So I'm gonna hit live now over there. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to put title. I'm just going to 
uh, leave it blank. Okay, there it is. I'm just going to scroll it up so I can see bigger of, of myself. Okay, there I am. Okay, I am almost on live. And uh, by the way, on here, uh, the settings here is up to you. You can play around whatever settings you want to uh, use. So right now the microphone is almost at zero. I'm just going to turn it up right now. Sound check, testing one, two. Okay, so as you notice, uh, we're now on live. So uh, right now the audio that you are hearing is uh, coming from this BM800 condenser microphone, which is connected to this uh, V8 live sound card. So there is no effects yet because the echo here is still at zero. It's up to you if you want to turn your treble up and your bus. So um, it's up to you to play around. Okay, so maybe in this setup, I'm just gonna turn it both, the treble and the bus, uh, to three o'clock. Okay, and okay, microphone is there. And uh, just to give you a heads up, in doing a live streaming or recording, make sure all the time the record volume knob here is always on high. Otherwise, uh, uh, there is no audio on your recording or on your live streaming. So make sure this one is on high. And the monitor here, so the monitor, this is the one you hear from this headset. But just to give you a heads up also, uh, even if the monitor here is at zero, there's still uh, audio output from your live streaming. So again, we're now uh, on live. And even if, uh, even if the monitor is at zero, I'm going to set it uh, to zero. So right now, the monitor is at zero. I'm not hearing anything on my headset, but there is audio output or there is audio from uh, your live streaming. So in other words, whoever are watching or listening to your live streaming, they can still hear your voice. Okay, let's just put uh, some volume here for the monitor so you can hear it as well. Okay, I'm just gonna set it at maybe 12 o'clock. Okay, there you go. Okay, now, uh, of course, on live streaming, you can for sure uh, use this uh, preset sound effects on here. Let's just uh, test a few. <laughs> Okay, and kiss, and awkward, and minion. Okay, and dog barking. Okay, so, uh, uh, okay, and uh, just so you know, if you're, if you do not know yet, if, for example, I know there are some here that are long, long uh, sound effects, and if you do not want to listen the full uh, sound effects on here. Let's say you want to stop it right away. Uh, the only thing here that I know how to stop that, let's say, for example, time. This is a little bit long. So what I would do if I'm going to press this one and then I want to stop it, I will, I will uh, press electro and uh, I will not. So just make sure to do not talk after you press electro or else your uh, vocals or your tone will be different. It's like robotic. It's, it's an auto-tune, this one, because uh, that is the only way to stop the long uh, preset uh, sound effects on here that I know. Okay, so let's uh, give it a try. So again, I'm going to press the time sound effects, and I do not want to hear all of it, so I'm going to press electro, and then after that, I'm going to press uh, I'm going to press MC because that is also how to stop the electro. Okay, let me show you. Okay, I'm going to press the time sound effects right now. Make more time. Okay, now I do not want to hear all of it. So to stop that, I'm going to press electro and then MC and then there you go. So at least uh, at least it stop that uh, long sound effect. So same with the songs. Okay, and I don't want to hear all of that, so what I'll do, I'll press Electro, and then MC. So there you go. So that is how you stop those uh, longer sound effects on there, if you do not want to hear all of it. Okay, so let's uh, just go back there. And uh, now, let me show you the Electro. So Electro, as I mentioned earlier, this is, this is an auto-tune. As you keep pressing this one, okay, so there it is, sound check, and then if you press it again, Sound check. Okay, sound sound check. Testing one, two, one, two, three. 
Okay, so as you notice, it gives you options of your tone, whatever you prefer. Maybe this is good for uh, singing if you want to put uh, effects to your voice tone. So that is the use of that. And the pitch bend here, this is the voice changer. I notice in this type of sound card, I know V8 sound card has different kinds. So this kind here that I have on the pitch bend here, there are two uh, voice changer on here. So let's uh, try the first one. Okay, soundtrack testing one, two. So it sounds like a female or sounds like a baby also. And if we press this again, Sound check, testing one, two. So this is a male sound. And if you press the magic, so magic is like a, a monster sound or an uncle sound. Okay, let's uh, get out from there. So I noticed in this type of uh, sound card, it has only three um, voice uh, changer on this one. And then the shockwave here, shockwave is uh, to boost your, your vocals or your audio. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's uh, try this one. Okay, sound check testing one, two. And then if I'm going to press this one, sound check testing one, two. So as you notice, it boosts your, your audio if you press the shock wave. Same with if you are going to, let's say, press the sound effects on here. Make more time. Okay, and if I'm going to press the shock wave. Okay, so. Make more time. Okay, so. Okay, so as you notice, when I press the time sound effects and then when I press the check wave, it boosts the audio. It's like a little bit louder. So something like that. That's the use of that. Now, let me show you the use of dudge. So dudge is pretty common to, to most of the sound cards. So what it is, if you are playing a background music while you're talking, so this is mostly for DJ. But if uh, for live streaming, if you want to use a background music, you can use this one. So what it is, is it lowers the volume of your background music if you turn this on. And then, so that's while you're talking. And when you stop talking, then the background music is, is there again. Okay, let's give it a sample. I'm going to play a, a song from here. Let's just get a song. Let's just use song from, uh, from YouTube. And by the way, the volume control from your background music, if it is coming from the laptop, so you can control it from the laptop itself. So uh, it's from here. So something like that. Just locate the volume control of your laptop. So it's from there. And also you can control from this V8 sound card. So it's from here. Okay, so let's play this one. Okay, so it's uh, pretty loud. You can lower it from here or... Okay, so let's just move it over there. Okay, so let's do it again. Okay, so you can lower it from here or you can lower it from here as well. So something like that. Okay, so it's up to you if you want to, to turn the volume up from here. So let's say from there and then you just control the volume from here. So Again, it's all up to you, whatever you prefer. But those are the two uh, volume control to, uh, to do or to use if you are using a background music from this uh, laptop. Okay, let's play it again. Okay, so you can control it from here if you want to lower it. Okay, so something like that. Okay, let's just uh, pause this one. Okay, now let's play that background music and then I'm going to turn the dodge on on here. Okay, so let's play it. Okay, now that I'm talking, it's still off over here so you can still hear the background music. And now I'm going to turn it on. Okay, so now that the dodge is turned on, as you notice, you could hardly hear the background music. But when I stop talking... Okay, there it is. So again, that is the use of the dodge over here uh, with the use of the background music. Okay, there you go. I noticed this feature of this V8 sound card that maybe others doesn't know that it exists. So other sound cards, it has uh, like... Uh, to turn on the background music or to turn off the background music. So which means if you're playing a background music and you do not want your viewers to, to listen to it or to hear that music while you're talking, then you can do that. So what you do is 
if you so while your background music is playing if you press once the power button don't hold it because it will turn off so press one the power button and it will uh, turn off the background music only for your viewers so you can still hear it yourself but uh, your live streaming whoever is watching it they will not be able to hear that and then if you turn it back on again then that's the only time your viewers will be able to listen or hear that background music you are playing okay let's give it a sample okay let's uh, play this one okay so right now oh the dutch is on let me turn it off there it is and let's maybe lower the background music that's too loud okay there you go so now that it is playing so if i do not want to to uh, let my viewers hear that what I will do is I'm going to press the power button once there you go so now that I had pressed this one once it says internal sound off so what it is happening right now is as you notice it is playing right now I am the only one who can who can hear it but uh, the viewers or even my live streaming whoever is watching for example they are not to be able to they won't be able to hear that uh, that background music I am playing. But now if I'm going to uh, let them hear that background music that I'm playing again, so what I will do, I am going to tap this again just one time. Okay, there you go. So now that I tap this again, it says internal sound on. Uh, what it is, what it does is your viewers can hear that background music again. Let's do it one more time. So I'm gonna tap it just one, one time. Okay, so it says internal sound off. So what it is, is your viewers will not be able to hear that background music that I am playing. And if I'm going to top it again. Okay, so it says internal sound on. It means that your, your viewers are able to hear that background music again. Okay, let's pause this one now. Okay, there it is. So again, that is, I think, the uh, features of V8 that I'm... I believe not everyone knows uh, that it exists. Let me show you now using uh, with uh, sound effects or with a reverb or echo. So you can hear the, uh, the audio output. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the echo now up. Okay, sound check testing one, two. Just going to move this one over there. Okay, so let's say, for example, you want to uh, entertain your, your viewers. Let's say you want to uh, sing uh, to them. Then let's uh, give it a sample. Okay, so if you think the uh, echo is too much, then you can just uh, turn it a little bit down. So maybe something like that. Sound check, testing, one, two. And then let's play again this background music. Okay, so it sounds like it's not that loud. So let's uh, increase the volume. Okay, so maybe, maybe something like that. Okay, so let's uh, give it a little, uh, let me give you a little sample. Okay, maybe I think it's too loud. Okay, there it is. Okay, let's, uh, let me give you a short sample. Na sa'yo ang pagtuo O kang pagsali ko Kay kasakit lang di ay Maoy gibalos mo Sa akong paghilayo Okay, there you go. So again, that is a short sample if in case you want to sing to your viewers or listeners. Okay, let's uh, turn the echo down again. Okay, there it is. And this time, let me show you the background music is coming from a different source other than from this laptop. So as I showed you earlier, I connected this iPad over here. Okay, let's uh, test first the uh, volume from here. So this time, the volume is again from music over here and also from this device itself. So whatever is that device you used as your external source, it could be a phone, a tablet, iPad, or others or something else okay so let's play it first to check the uh, volume okay so if you want it more louder then just turn it up over here and uh, so you can you can turn it up also over here so something like that 
Okay, let's uh, pause that a bit. Okay, so again, if you want to use this one uh, as, as your external source for your maybe a karaoke song, you can. So um, again, the, the volume control is either from this device itself or from here, from this V8 sound card, the one that says uh, music. So let's give it again a short uh, sample. Maybe let's uh, forward it over there. Okay, and uh, let's uh, put a little bit of echo. There you go, sound check. And then let's uh, play this one. Let's, uh, let me just give you a short sample again. Okay, there it is. Okay, so again, that is pretty much what's the output of your live streaming. If you use the background music from a different source other than the, from this uh, laptop. Now, if you want to connect this uh, using Bluetooth, so you do not need to use this cord on here, so let's remove it. Okay, to connect them is very simple. So what you do is go to settings of that device. So go to settings and go to, go to uh, Bluetooth, make sure Bluetooth is turned on, and uh, just find this one on here. So it should be on here. So V8 sound card it says. Okay, let's stop that one to pair them. Okay, there it is. So it's now connected. So at least in this way, you do not need to use this extra cord on here. So, okay, let's uh, give it a sample. Let's play again that same music. This time, uh, it is now connected to this V8 sound card wirelessly with the use of a Bluetooth. So it sounds like it's not that loud yet. So I'm going to turn it up uh, from here. There it is. Okay. And let me give you again a little uh, sample. Okay, there it is. Okay, so again, that is how you connect this uh, iPad to this uh, V8 sound card wirelessly using uh, Bluetooth. By the way, the reason why I connected my headset to the earphone is because if you connect a, a headset that has built-in microphone, what it does is uh, the built-in microphone of that earphone or headset uh, w does work as well. So, which means uh, the condenser microphone plus the built-in uh, microphone works. So, even the pop sounds there will also uh, be uh, recorded or can also be here from your live streaming. Okay, so let me uh, show you. Now that the headset is now connected or my earphone with the built-in microphone is now connected to the headset, even if, let's say, uh, as you can see, I am just tapping the microphone part of that, uh, of this uh, headphone or headset. So that's what I'm trying to, uh, to point. If you connect the headset uh, uh, earphone or headphone that, or any earphone that has a built-in microphone, if you accidentally tap the microphone part of that, it will also capture that sound from your live streaming or recording. That's why I do not suggest if your headset or earphone has a built-in microphone, do not uh, connect it to the one that headset. Anyway, uh, in my uh, experience, this is only for this uh, specific V8. For other type of sound card, once the uh, headset is connected with a built-in microphone and the condenser microphone is connected as well automatically the headset doesn't work but again in this type of sound card uh, this headset works so they work both so okay let me show you sound check testing one two and if i'm going to put uh, to put the uh, effect or echo then there you go so this works and at the same time the bm800 works as well so sound check testing like that but again um, in my opinion i do not suggest if your earphone has a built-in microphone, do not connect it to the one that says headset. Instead, connect it to the one that says 
earphone, otherwise it will capture the unnecessary audio you do not want to hear coming from that headset. Okay, let's see, for example, if you're just, or if you accidentally tap it, something like that. So I'm tapping the microphone part of that headset, and it captures also to your live streaming, or maybe if you are recording. And uh, even if you're closer to that, there you go, so that's a different, uh, uh, like, the microphone working this time is from this headset, sound check. And then your BM800 is right there. Okay, there you go. So that is just uh, like uh, an option or an idea that you might be able to consider in uh, doing your live streaming or recording. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this type of video, please give it a like. And if you want more of this type of videos, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you are always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and until next time.